Liam, what are you doing? Why are you sitting there again? Why are you sitting there again? You just want to be in the video, don't you? Yeah. Well, you're in the video. Say hello. Hello. There was a lady who commented on the last video saying, Liam's so cute. Do you want to say thank you, Cassie? Thank you, Cassie. There you go. Right. Now get down the stairs. No. Shift. You want to be famous too? Yeah. Say hello. Oh. Say hello. Hi. Lacey's officially COVID free. Well, tomorrow. You don't know. Huh? You don't know. You will be. How do you know? I haven't took a test today. What, you took a test today and it's the most negative test I've ever seen. Well, you said that you had two lines on it. I will lie, I was taking them in. Yeah. Okay then, so see you later. What up YouTube, it's me, it's me, it's your favourite state, how you doing? Just up in the loft, I'm actually getting some videos done today. Um, yeah, hope you're all fine and dandy. Still dead, eBay was for me. Look, if I didn't sell badges, I would have gone three days, I think. Well, obviously we're into today and we're at about four o'clock in the afternoon now and I've only sold badges today. Um, so... If I didn't sell badges, I would have gone, after today, three days with no sales, it's been dead. And those all the days with sales, it was like one, one or two things. So it, it, it's been really, really dead for me, um, the past few days. I'm not getting myself down to body, you know. Obviously, I have thoughts in my head of I need to get a proper job, but I'm trying to fight those proper job demons that are in my head. We'll see what happens for the rest of January. Um... Yeah, so it's not on Instagram. I don't know whether it's around the same time of year. I'm not sure. Um, but these like posts on Instagram seem to like come around every now and then about people talking about their shops just getting shut down for no reason. It proper like gets my um, my anxiety and paranoia up about like my shop getting shut down. I don't know why. Um, but just seeing like somebody like I've seen, I've seen it before. We just post where it, let's say. The shops have been shut down for like no reason. And then when you try and get in touch with eBay, they're not interested, they don't want to speak to you, they've just decided that um you know, just decided out of the blue that they don't want your store to be active anymore. And their excuse is they've decided to break up the partnership. It's like ah so it always makes me like I don't know start thinking I need to start posting on different platforms as well. Um you know, as soon as I mainly do clothing, I really need to look into Depop or Vinted or anything like that and see if um, I should start listing on those other platforms. But I don't know whether it's cross-list or whatever. I know there was something that Josh was advertising about doing cross-listing on certain things. Um, I might look into it, I'm not sure. I don't know. We'll have to have a look. But it's definitely something that seems to come around. Um, it's not very often, but you'll just have like a post and it's like, whoa, or a group of posts. I haven't, I've only seen the one this year, but I think last year it come, so like three people around the same period of time where the stores had just been shut down just randomly. Uh, I don't know these people personally, I just, I follow them on Instagram, as you do, you follow different resellers. Um, but it does like make you go, whoa, like obviously I don't know, maybe they're, full of crap and they've actually done something that they shouldn't be doing but it does make me go oh keep an eye out especially and then when i go why haven't i sold any clothing maybe they're on me i, I think the lady who posted was just saying all they'd done was listed disney like disney store plushies it just makes me like i've got disney store plushies listed it just makes me power but yeah i need to look into going on different platforms yeah i'm gonna get some videos done well, I've got five minutes. I think the daughter's back at school tomorrow. Looking forward to getting out the house, getting on, getting on a bit of a school run and stuff like that, getting back into some kind of normality. But the wife and Liam are going to be off for the rest of this week. I think Liam's some some into next week. He he was positive yesterday, so that was 
Tuesday, Wednesday. It was Tuesday, so it was positive yesterday. Um, so we'll see. But the wife, the wife is a bit. She's a bit coffee and spluttery. It, the, the wife has like chest problems. She always around like the winter time. She has um like a bad chest. Um, she has asthma. Um, so it was something when it comes to coronavirus where we were a bit like a bit worried, but we think she's got the Omicron, which seems to be a lot milder. Um, but she's ill off that. So it just we were talking about it earlier. Going, Man, imagine if you would have got like the March 2021. But fingers crossed. She just seems to be a little bit spluttery, a little bit cold, a little bit flaming on her chest. But hopefully, like, well, she should. She should be fine after a couple of days. But anyway, I'm going to get some videos done. I'll see you later. What up, YouTube? How you doing? It's Saturday. Um, Liam wants me to do a video because he's been getting emotional. You all right, mate? Yeah. What are you getting emotional about? Minions. Minions. Yeah. Liam thinks that whatever charity shop we're going, I can pick up minions. The little McDonald's minions. It's not going to happen, Liam. Oh. I'll look. And I'll try my hardest to find them, but they're not going to be in every charity shop. Are you going to get emotional? No. No. I want them. Okay, we'll have a look, okay? So I'm not sure, I'm not 100%, but I think we might be going to some more. So we'll have a look in them, okay? 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 Come up. Let's see you later. <laughs> Damn. What? Did you get any minions? Yeah. Where are they? Um, down here. <laughs> Have you already dropped them on the floor? No. Oh, show them to the camera then. Thank you, Biggie. It's Liam and Jan. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, dude. Do you want to show them to the phone? Yeah. Go on then. Where are they? <laughs> hey. I'll do a video with Lice in it. She looks weird. Um, but Daddy, Daddy won, didn't they? Did Daddy get them? Yeah. Yeah, Daddy's awesome. So, Lice, Dad's not awesome. Hi, Lice, how are you? Yeah, okay? Yeah. Great. Love you, Lice. Love you, Lice. Hi. Liam, where are we going past? Where we go? What, what's it called? Um, the Grace of the Majesty. The Grace. The Majesty. The, most the beautifulness. Drink it in, guys. Drink it in, guys. Drink it in. Drink it in, guys. The Grace. The Majesty. On a match day. Look at it. All the people on a match day trying to see the players. Yeah, they're waiting for players. Look at it. Oh, the players not coming. That's where they're coming. No, nah, that's where they're coming. The coach comes in there. Look at it. Where dreams are made and hearts are broken. Ready. I'm going to be cooking those probably an hour or two before the lamb's ready. It'll be lovely, those. Nice and sunny. Oh, you're loving that rosy cakes. Loving that rosy cakes. I'm a little bit concerned about the big barber because I've had it a few times and it's never really wowed me. Double fush. Double fush. Double fush. Double fush. Double fush. Double fush for the rosy cakes. Yes. Oh, 
Ah, let go, let go, let go. Man, I was trying to give you love. Don't my wrist. I'm savage, man. What should I do to you? Do it to me, though. Mm -hmm. Just grab your arm in an arm lock and start scratching you to pieces. No, watch, watch out. And now me. Oh, I do, Rosie King. Hello. I'm trying to get into her belly, look. She'll open up. She'll open up. It's only a little nibble and a little scratch. Oh gosh, you'll open up. <laughs> <laughs> but it's only a little nibble. I tell you that. She'll open up. I think I'm going to leave her alone now. Say bye, Rody. Bye. Hello, Charlie Bear. Oh, You're more apprehensive, aren't you? <laughs> You're definitely more leave me alone, mate. Look at his little, his little thing that he sleeps in. I'm going to leave you alone. And then look, Rosie sleeps above him. She's the queen and he's yeah. like the prince. But you're more apprehensive, eh? You're more like, just leave me alone, please. Please leave me alone. Better can Instead change of, like, you. Scratching the hell out. Rosie! Better no. can change no. you. Do you want me to leave you alone, Charles? <clears throat> Do you want me to leave you alone, Charles? I'm advertising. He's just lucky, yeah. Oh, he's looking at my sweets. Sleeping the treats. You'll show your teeth. He's I've already looked at cat content. What up, you Jew? How you doing? I've just come in the car to come get um, the stuff that I got from the charity shop yesterday. Uh, I didn't realise I'd done enough clips for like a vlog. I only have about an hour that I can record on my phone before you won't let me record anymore. And I didn't realise how much I'd chatted on or how much I'd filmed yesterday. So yeah, these kind of vlogs, they're not. I'm just. It's just like little clips. Little clips of the cats, little clips of me, little cl clips of the kids. So, um, they're not really any kind of sense to them. Um, yeah, I'm just getting the cherry shop stuff out of the car because I left it in here last night. I need to get it all together because it was a bit of a chaos yesterday. And I, I don't mind, I mentioned before, I don't mind the wife taking me out and about um, doing, what should we call it, like the cherry shops. It works out better, you know, I can shove stuff in the car, but I'm I'm under such a time constraint because I know, like, the lights and Leo are going to be like, where's daddy, what's daddy doing? You're going to be driving chow mad. Um, so I have to kind of rush around. Although I can fill a car, it's definitely like, um, yeah, I have to, like, kind of think about shell and the fact that the kids are going to be whining. Um... But it's, I don't know, it's definitely a thing, I'll, but I, 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 I do want to start to learn to drive. It's just trying to, I think it's just trying to balance my money at the minute. Like, I just keep thinking I want to carry on sourcing for the rest of the month. Um, see what happens at the end of the month, see if I've got enough money to pay the bills. But then at the same time, I don't want to put us in a position where I'm having to, you know, go into the family savings or whatever. And take out of that, I want to make sure that I'm definitely covering my half of the bills with my money. But I'm so tempted. <laughs> I am. I'm proper tempted to just go out and go, oh, shall I give it a go? But then at the same time, I'm thinking maybe I should be sensible for a couple of months, see how good the sales are, and then um, save a bit of money and then go out when I've got the money. So, like, don't just be getting enough money for the bills. Like, be sensible, save a bit of money, and then say March, April time, when I've got the money to cover my bills. Um, you know, when I've saved up the money. So say say I've saved two months worth of bills, and then I can go out um, for the one month and see 
where I end up at the end of the month. So if me with me consistently going out sourcing every other day, if I end up with the money at the end of the month to pay my bills. Um, also this week, I, know it's, I think it's weird. I didn't think it, I can't, that's a, I don't know. I've consistently listed or put, I've put 70 new listings on this week. So I've done 70 auctions and then I've done 70 buy it now listings all this week. And I've been consistent with it. And I'm like, well, today I was like, yeah. Well, last night, I nearly gave in last night. We had a Mackie's on the way home and a Mackie's like, makes me want to go to sleep. And I was like, oh, I'm just, I might just go to sleep and not do my listing. But I did it because it was like, I've done, you know, my, I've done 140 listings this week. Um, but then, yeah, so I nearly gave up and I did it. But then I, I kind of realised, I was like, man, when was the last time I did this? And I, I honestly can't remember the last time I did seven, well, 70 new items listed. My 70 new items are the auctions. So I've done 70 new items listed this week. But I can't remember the last time I did it. Like, I was like, last time I was sitting there going, man. Like, I think I'm consistent. But when I really think about it, I'm like, man, I can't remember the last time I consistent, like I did 70 listings in one week. 70 new listings, which is kind of bad. <laughs> it's kind of bad when I think about it. Like I was dead, I was like, yeah, I've done 70 listings this week. And then I was like, hang on, have I ever done that before? I must have. I must have done it before, but I could probably count on one hand how many times since I've been doing reselling that I've done like 10 listings a day, 10 brand new listings a day. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I thought I'd just put a bow in this vlog. I'm running out of minutes to do anything else. I want to go through this haul that I got yesterday. I didn't do bad. It was all right. Nothing to shout about, really. Just kind of consistent stuff, like fillers. Um, but I'm looking forward to the car boots. I think the car boots around here start the end of this month. But them shite. Them rubbish up until about March. Um... So I think the start at the end of Jan, but I went to some at the end of Jan. It wasn't last year, I think it was 2020, and they were awful. They were really, really rubbish. Um, so I think I might leave it until the start of March, and then I'll I'll go out car booting again. I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you. Peace out, stay safe, stay beautiful, and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.